looking at uh, Kagatame's in top position. The first thing I want to look at, when I'm finishing uh, triangles from, uh, front triangles from bottom position or top position, what I want to make sure of is that my hamstring is connected to my partner's neck. So if we move into strangle with the head and arm with the legs, what I have to make sure of is that I have a strong connection of my hamstring to Damien's neck. If I don't have a strong connection of my hamstring to his neck, I won't be able to finish him. Once I can achieve that connection, now I have an incredibly strong strangle. It's the same thing when you strangle your partner with your arms. If my right elbow, or the crease of my right elbow, won't connect to his neck, I'm never going to strangle him. So I have to create a strong connection of my elbow to the side of his neck. The question is, how do I do that? Once I get his head elevated, or his arm uh, elevated up and over his head, I'm going to look to take a post out here like so. This hand will go between, will move between the post hand and the support hand on his head. If he gets a strong bridge over his right shoulder, he bridges directly into my, uh, into my base, my left hand. When he's not bridging, I use this to push my forearm off the floor, so that it's just the tip of my elbow on the ground. And now I support Damien's head. If he goes to give a strong bridge again, then I just poke back on the floor. And I just move between these two positions, a support hand on the head and a post hand on the floor. Now, when I support his head, I kick my hand back and forth. Okay? As best I can describe this, is it looks like you're giving me a hand job. Okay? <laughs> Put that hand back and forth. This kipping motion will create a strong connection to his head, to his neck, to the crease of my elbow. So that from here, I kip, 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 kip. And now, as you come back yeah. down, you notice I have a strong connection now of uh, of my uh, crease of my elbow connected to his neck. Before we started, and initially we were out here. So I post on the floor, and notice there's all the space between my arm and his neck. I come up and we're in this position now. When he goes to bridge and brings his shoulders back to the floor, the post hand will stop him. And now from here, we just move into position. <laughs> now from here, we lock up. Now I have to make sure that when I come back down, when I lock my hands, I have a high left elbow. If I have a low left elbow and he gives a strong bridge over the right shoulder, I'm going to be extremely off balance. So I make sure that as we come down, we open up the left elbow to be above my partner's shoulder line. So that now, as he goes to bridge, he runs right into my form of base. And once again, when he goes to give strong bridges now, it's useless. Now, as I dismount, we start moving into a position where I start dropping my inside hip and I start moving around my partner's, uh, my partner's body. So now I start to create a small angle. Once I get into this position, my outside hip drops, and my inside knee blocks my partner's hips. So when he goes to follow me, it's difficult. Now the finish isn't a squeezing of my arms together. It's a pulling of my right elbow down into my partner's shoulder as I take my head and I push it into my partner's head. And this is what gives you incredibly tight strangles. So I have to make sure first, that I create a strong connection of my elbow to the side of the Indian's neck. Now, as we go back down, I have to make sure that he doesn't free his arm by giving a strong bridge. I do this by taking a high left elbow. Now, as I dismount, I initially drop my right hip. So when he gets to bring his right knee back inside to regard, he can. Now, as I start to create an angle, I switch hips. I drop left hip, and right knee blocks his hips. So when he gets to follow me, he can. Now, I don't squeeze my arms. I simply push my head into his, and I pull my right elbow down into his shoulder, and that's what gives me strong finishes. But, okay.